Hi, my name is Russ Buecher and welcome to the Calibrating White Balance tutorial. You know, sometimes when you're taking a shot, you might find that the color balance just seems to be off a bit, even though you try to use some of the preset white balances that are built into the Nikon camera. For example, here on the screen I have Live View Up with Control My Nikon, and I have a flower. And this flower is currently being lit with some continuous lights. It has a halogen light and an incandescent light. And I have the white balance currently set to auto. Now this mixed lighting is going to cause all sorts of problems in your color balance and this flower uh, color does not look at all accurate. So what we can do is easily set the white balance for the camera. And we'll take the white balance and set it to one of the presets. Now all you need is a gray card and these gray cards are basically an 18 percent gray card or a white card and uh, you just need to put this uh, where your subject is under the same lighting and then we're going to use a unique control my Nikon feature to calibrate your white balance and we'll take a look at the difference before we calibrate the white balance I'm just going to take a shot so we can have it on uh, the image viewer for a comparison here's a previous shot I had once it's been calibrated. Well, let's take a shot of what we have right here. Okay, so there's our reference shot. Now I'm going to take the 18% gray card and I'm just going to put it directly in front of the flower. Now it's being illuminated by those two types of lights, the incandescent and the halogen light, and you can see it gives me a funny brown color here. This is actually gray. So uh, let's do the calibration you'll know that it is properly calibrated when if you look over to a live view histogram and I'm able to use a live view histogram here because it's a D7000 when all four of the peaks on the histogram are lined up and then you know you have a correct white balance and you can see they're definitely not lined up now so um, the, the white balance is off so you can see auto on the Nikon camera didn't even come close to getting this so let's calibrate and to calibrate it, you press the Calibrate button, and that brings up another window. And then it has several steps here you need to do, and the first thing you need to do is put the white or gray card there. I have one of those ex uh, foldable and expandable gray cards that has white on one side and gray on the other. I prefer to use the gray because I think it uh, gives the best result. Sometimes the, the Nikon bodies don't like to use the white cards and will reject it. So I generally just use the gray card. You can set your white balance calibration to any of the presets available in your camera. And on a D7000, we have presets 1 through to 5. And depending on your camera body, the list you see there might vary. But I'm going to say, let's put this preset, uh, let's use preset 1 for this uh, calibration. And then all you need to do is press the start button. And we'll watch the progress here. So it says calibrating, and it takes a few seconds. and it says success. Now you can see in the live view window the calibrated white balance has been put in preset 1 and it set your system to use preset 1 and now we actually are looking at a gray and if you look at the histograms you see how they're all lined up here that means that the colors are not out of balance. Now I'm going to remove the white card and let's see what the flower looks like this looks way more like what the flower actually looks like in real light. You know, you compare it down here to the uh, image viewer. This is the one before we took, uh, before we did the white balance calibration, and it's quite a difference. And when you're done doing the calibration, you just click on close. And now that white balance calibration will stay with the camera. That's been uploaded to the camera. So even though you turn your camera off, or you turn off Control My Icon, and maybe going into the field with it, that same calibration will still be in preset number one. Now you don't need live view to do a calibration. I'm going to turn it off. And the nice thing about live view is we can just see, uh, you know, uh, what the uh, the difference is. But uh, I'm going to put it back to auto and put the gray card back up. Okay, the gray card's on. I'll go to calibrate. This time I'll put it in uh, preset number two. And here's our before shot, still when it was auto. Start the calibration. And we have success. 
I'll take another shot and you'll see the difference here in the image viewer before and after. We could see that I took this shot and it actually took a shot of the gray card and that's okay because we could see it actually is looking like it's gray. I'm going to take the gray card off this time and we'll take another shot. And there we have the real colors of the flower. Now if you don't have one of these uh, white cards or a 18% gray card, you know, you could use a white sheet of paper, but you know, these are rarely a real true white, so you have to be careful with it. You could be calibrating it to the wrong color. Same with gray paper. I mean, gray paper looks gray, but often has a lot of blues in it, and this is not going to look right. Sometimes the calibration may fail, and uh, you'll see uh, if it fails because it'll say fail here, and uh, if that's the case, then try uh, just moving the position of the gray or the white card or change the focus on a little bit. It doesn't seem to matter whether it's focused on it or not in the bodies, uh, but just try some uh, different variations until it gives you a successful white balance calibration. And of course, if you have live view available, just use live view and you can see the before and after of your, uh, of your calibration. And that's it. That's how you calibrate your white balance using Control Mine Icon. Happy tethering.